Hello, and welcome back to LZ Labs. Today, I would like to show you another piece of our world, LZ Online, our transaction environment. Here you can see our management console for the software-defined mainframe. We would like to show you the insights of our online environment using the monitoring facilities of the system. So let's check that out. Here you can see all sorts of statistics regarding the environment. What we want to see today are the LZ Online metrics of our LZ Online region. Here we can see all sorts of things, things like average transaction rate, average response time, and I.O. rate of the region. As you can see, currently there's no workload in the environment, so let's create some. We have prepared a special application we would like to show you, so let's run that. Here you can see a TN3270 application that has been crafted on a mainframe according to the TPCC standards to benchmark online environments everywhere. We have taken this mainframe application, which is based on COBOL and a set of five transactions in a warehouse application, binary compatible, binary intact with its data, ported it onto the software-defined mainframe and are running it on Linux. Currently, we're running it with one user, which is not a lot. By the way, don't worry about the randomized data. That's perfectly fine, it's part of the test. So let's go back and take a look at our LZ Online statistics and see what's going on behind the curtain. As you can see, we are not running, not running many transactions per second. Also, the response time is very low. It's well below a second, which is really good. So what we can do now is we can kick it up a notch and execute some more workload. We have prepared a batch job to add some more users onto the system. Actually, we're going to run 50 additional users in one region. So let's execute that now. The job to create workload has now been submitted. So let's take a closer look at the LZ Online statistics. <clears throat> As you can see, we are currently executing 200 transactions on average per second in one region. The response time is still well below a second, which is really great actually, if you consider that we are running on one single i7 environment just imagine what you could do on enterprise hardware. 